everyone, and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. We just returned home from a quick trip to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to share it with you. My husband had a conference where he was staying at the Hotel Hershey, and we tagged along for the trip. I thought it would be fun to share some of the things that we did because we did not go to Hershey Park, which is typically what we're doing when we're in Hershey. We did a couple of other fun things in the beautiful town. It's fall time. It was absolutely gorgeous weather. The scenery was breathtaking. I can't wait to share this with you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right. Let's travel to Hershey, PA. The Hotel Hershey felt like a step back in time. The architecture is beautiful, the grounds were immaculate, and the service was excellent as well. They have several fine dining restaurants here, and one perk is upon arrival, we each received a full-size Hershey bar, which I loved. And our room had a little balcony that overlooked the indoor pool. We were here every day, and it was an excellent facility. There's also a spa at this hotel that's renowned for their luxurious chocolate treatment, so that's something you could try out here too. Before you enter the Hershey Amusement Park, there is this building called Hershey's Chocolate World, and it's a really fun experience for kids. There's a few different extras you can pay for where you make your own chocolatey treats, and there's also a free ride called Chocolate World, which teaches you all about how Hershey's chocolate is made. We definitely rode this several times on our trip. The best part is that at the end, everybody gets a free miniature chocolate bar. And just so you know, if you don't like chocolate, they'll give you a free Twizzlers licorice instead. There's a huge gift shop inside of Chocolate World that has all kinds of candy, some of which are exclusive to this store, and a bunch of Hershey's merchandise too. And if you ever go into the amusement parks, I think the quality of the merchandise is better at Chocolate World, so I would recommend buying things there. And we also tried one of their delicious creamy milkshakes. We had the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup chocolate milkshake. That night we tried out Trogue's Independent Brewing Company, which is right down the street from Hershey Park. My husband and I really enjoyed the food and the atmosphere. It was kid-friendly in the sense that there were options for them to eat and it was comfortable for them to sit, but you have to like beer to come here because it smelled very strongly of hops, just so you know. The next morning we went to First Watch for breakfast and I tried their pumpkin pancakes, which were really delicious. And this was right on Chocolate Avenue, which is the main street downtown and very close to the Hershey Story, which is the Museum of Chocolate Avenue. It shares the history of Milton Hershey's life along with the town of Hershey. It has tons of vintage Hershey's packaging along with all kinds of historical items related to Hershey. My kids liked how all of the displays were interactive and they could be customized with their name and favorite color. These are the street lights on Chocolate Avenue. They all look like wrapped or unwrapped Hershey's Kisses. I think that's so cool. Admission to the Hershey Story was free because we were guests of the Hotel Hershey. Additionally, you get free entrance to the Hershey Gardens, which is on the property of the hotel. So upon arrival, you have these sweeping views of Hershey Park, which were fantastic. And then you walk into a butterfly garden, and beyond that are the outdoor gardens. So my children and I, stepped gingerly amongst the butterflies. It was such a neat experience. And then after that, we enjoyed the beautiful weather, just walking all over the acres and acres of land that Hershey developed into these gorgeous gardens.
You can take the family out of Pittsburgh, but you can't take Pittsburgh out of the family. And we ended up at Permani Brothers for dinner that night. That's a staple restaurant here in the Pittsburgh area, but it's expanded to many places in the United States. And we had some delicious boneless wings. That was our last night there. And we bid farewell to the Hotel Hershey. It was a wonderful stay. We had so much fun. And it was nice to explore some options outside of just visiting Hershey Park. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me over on Instagram at Ant's Family Recipe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my family vlog here today. Thank you so much for joining me here and I'll see you again soon.